three and oh three and oh yes sir yes sir now the team went out there and dominated i love the way we played on um, the first half we had a little mishaps here and there we had the one touchdown miscommunication quinn johnson got open but i like the way we adjusted that's one thing coach tomlin has done Big time this year. We've seen it at the Falcons game as well. Remember the first half at the Cal Pitts got a touchdown. We was down a little bit. What we do? Shut them out. Same thing we did to the Chargers this time. What we do? Shut them out. They had negative four yards of offense. Negative four yards of offense in the second half. Najee Harris had three rushing yards. Three in the first half. He had 71 in the second half. That shows you how the team can find ways to adjust and how the team is willing to go out there and be coachable and go out there and make themselves better. We went out there, we dominated on both sides of the football, we went out there and just controlled this game. I never felt like we lost a guy out touching this game, even though we was down by three points at one point. And though we was down by touchdown, but we went out in the field and marched. We had adversity was faced against us. Just the fields went out in the field and marched, got the little re-option, rushing touchdown. We seen a turnover that happened, but it was enough to kill us. I remember Coach Tomlin always say, you can, you can do, and turnovers might happen occasionally, but just don't kill us like that. Just the field shows you that he can go out there and be more than the game manager. His first few games, Game managing a little bit like that, going out there, taking what the defense gives him, not doing too much. This game, you show you can win games for you. Win games with his legs, win games with his arm. Calvin Austin finally showed up and stepped up as well for the team. George Pickens, Calvin Austin, all these different guys, Najee Harris, Pat Frymuth, these guys will start getting the offense going a little bit and start getting in the groove more and more. And now you see us go out there and make some plays like that, make some big time plays for our team. And it was good. See why? He was getting double teamed. But remember, that one time they didn't double team him, they picked Joe off on a one on one. And what happened? Got that big time sack. Nick Herbig, two big time sacks. That strip sack he had was a game changer. Brought the momentum back to the team, brought some life into us a little bit even more. And we kind of started feasting at them. Cam Hayward got some as well. I think he's now the uh, second all time leading sack, uh, sack person in Steelers history, of course. He just passed James Harrison. But we start seeing these guys just start getting better and better. They start getting hungry and, and feasting on his offensive line and feasting on his team. I know Justin Herbert went down with the injury, and the other guys went down with the injury, of course. But the Steelers went out there and just dominated. Dominated and played well, played good. And now we're 3 0. We have a game against the Colts. But I already got to say too much that went right. We already know what went right. You know, we ran the football. Um, stay to it. You know, in the first half it didn't work too well, but we stayed with it. In the second half, it paid off. We went out there and played relentless defense. You know, we made adjustments and played relentless defense. Kept getting out to the quarterback, putting that pressure on him, putting the ball in Justin Herbert hands or Taylor Heineke hands like that, and just making him go out there because we are our best when we're rushing the passer. When we have the quarterback dropping back, we send it to the wide end, Cam Hayward in. As Hospital got injured, of course, the groin, but her big in as well. When we send those guys in, we are at our best. So seeing us go out there and do that was big time. And also the last thing was Justin Fields. The command he had out there. When the turnover happened, what did he do right after? He, he took command, went out in there, made plays. Um, when we need a big time play to happen, what did he do? Drop back, threw a beautiful ball and coverage to Calvin Austin. He sat right there in the zone and Calvin Austin stepped up. We finally seen players step up and make plays for us. We've been asking for that at the receiving room for a while. So I love this. We're gonna celebrate this victory. And next week we got the Colts. But hey, still a fan, still a nation. Still a player, still a team. We are three and oh. And hopefully, um, I actually don't, I don't know if the game thing is still on or not, but hopefully the Browns lost. And hopefully the Ravens lose too as well. Um, so it can be even stronger hold. And the Bengals lose if they play Monday. They hope they lose as well. So we can be a bigger hold, a stronger hold on our division like that. Cause we're going out there and dominating. I love this type of football. That's all I have for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys next time on the channel. Peace out.